Hey there, kiddos, and if you are sitting there with your parents helping you out, hey there, parents as well, this is Mr. King. I am your art teacher this year, and if you are listening to me, you are either out sick or uh, working remotely from home or whichever that is. I'm just going to give you a quick hi on the screen here to let you know that I am here. Uh, I'm going to do this lesson via... um, Procreate and video record so that I can do a little bit more uh, in terms of speed with my drawing and so that I can kind of do this simply and well narrated over uh, to make it easier to hear. So guys, today we're going to do the very first lesson of the school year. And really, it's just a matter of me getting a chance to know you a little bit, to know what you do when you draw, uh, and kind of, you know, what you know a little bit, what you feel comfortable with, and for you to have something at the end of class you still get to either go home with or stay home with. Uh, and display and be proud of. Um, So this very first thing we're going to do is going to be what artists call a self-portrait. Now, what is a self-portrait? Well, it's a drawing of you. It's got to be a drawing of you. Now, here's the thing. You can make up some stuff about yourself. You can be really creative with it. You can give yourself some robot arms. It doesn't bother me. Uh, Be as absolutely bonkers and weird as you want to be. Throw some shades on yourself for the picture, whatever you want to do. Really, it's just about you showing me how you draw yourself, and parents, if you're listening, um, it's a little bit about figuring out what we call the Lowenfeld stages, if you're familiar with that. If not, you can Google it, or you could just trust me, uh, that is developmental stages of kids and their drawing. Just want to see some basics about how they put shapes together, how they do shorthand. Um, but for you little guys, yes, I want you to draw yourself. It's going to be fun. I'm going to show you how. It's going to be way easier than you think, too, because we're not going to make this hard. So first up, I'm going to start drawing in here. We're going to start with a really basic shape. So for your head, you can do, you know, I think you all would be familiar with, like, doing a circle for your head. You might do an oval. But get this, you could still even do a square. Or you could do a rectangle. It's your call. Okay, my rectangle is almost square-like, but still a little rectangular. So you can do any way you would uh, want. I mean, if you want to look in the mirror and say, like, what shape is my head? Um, I know that I particularly have a very oval head, so I'm going to do the kind of a, you know, oval right here. Um, and what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to start doing stuff I know about myself. Number one, I have, you know, a fair bit of hair in my head, but it's pretty short. So I'm going to go nice and dark with my hair, and I'm just using a scribble to make my hair, and that's fine. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out my eyes and my nose. Now, the important thing to remember is your eyes, you know, you can kind of do anything you want with them, but your eyes tell a lot about how you feel. So if you want to get those eyes on there, um, I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm just going to do regular oval circles right here. I'm feeling kind of relaxed. So I'm going to give myself some eyelids that tell other people I'm relaxed. Darken those pupils real quick. And by the way, uh, for this lesson, I forgot to mention this first part of the drawing, if you didn't know, I want you to use pencil. I apologize, we're going to back that up a little bit. Please use a pencil. Why? Because you can erase. Are we going to make mistakes? Absolutely. In fact, this next part right here, I'm going to do a nose, and if you want to do kind of like the, uh, you know, the Sesame Street nose here, you definitely can. That oval, I'm not a huge fan of that, so I'm actually going to use my eraser and I'm going to erase. And if you make a mistake with your pencil, just erase it. Even if there's a line left behind, don't worry about it cool thing about pencil is no matter how hard you press the pencil, it's never going to be as dark as the next thing we're going to use coming up. So parents, there's something you're going to want. You're going to want two sheets of paper. You're going to want a pencil, some sort of permanent marker. If you don't have a permanent marker on hand, a regular water-based marker works fine, like Crayola, just some sort of marker. And then finally, something to color with. It can be crayons, it can be pencils, it can be paint can be really anything. could even be strips of colored paper, so like construction paper, it's up to you, as long as you have glue to go with it. But anything that colors. All right, so getting back to this, our nose. So for me, I'm going to do my nose as kind of a line right here. And I've actually got this kind of weird thing where you guys see how I did like this really thin nose. My nose isn't like that. So again, I'm going to erase. I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to do my line coming out. But look at this, got to make a big bump because my nose is kind of round. So I'm going to make that big round nose. I might even draw my nostrils in here if you want to. And then I've got a beard, so I'm going to do the beard. And then I'm going to go over the side. And again, we're just keeping it super simple. We're not doing anything crazy, just a little bit of a little bit of scribbling here. Leaving a little space for my mouth right there. And my mouth, we're just going to do like a little little smile here. Okay, what's going on, guys? And that's it. There's my, my head right there. I could add some ears on if I want to add some more detail. I can get those sideburns going because i got a little bit of them going on. You know, connecting right down to the beard. Keep it really, really simple. Don't make yourself too colorful. Oh, I forgot. I got really bush- bushy eyebrows, too, if you guys know me. So let's get those big eyebrows in there. 
Oh, man, I am looking <laughs> really good. <laughs> Anyways, keep it simple. It's goofy, it's silly, it's fine. Um, for my body, here's the thing. You might expect me to go into a lot of detail here. I'm not going to. I'm going to go boop, 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 rectangle. That's my body. Now, if you want to erase that and work in a little neck here because you're feeling really advanced on it, go for it. But again, we're just going to do the rectangle, and that's fine. For our arms and legs, I will leave it up to you to either create that out of rectangles, triangles, or if you want to, you can just do the stick figure lines. It doesn't bother me here, guys. Whatever works for you. Hands, you can use uh, circles again if you want to, but watch this. Here's a cool little detail. On the insides of your hands, put your thumb, kind of like you're on a mitten. Really makes a big difference right there making it look like you got something going on there. Now my head is huge for my body, but that is okay. I'm not gonna mind that. What I'm just looking to see, look at those big feet. What I'm looking to see just is, what kind of tricks do you use to draw your people? Now I'm hoping you put some feet on there because otherwise I'm a little worried how you're kind of keeping up with those little tiny stick legs. Um, and you can add any details you want. Now if you feel advanced about it, you can throw on some you know thickness to those arms and those legs so that you're not you know feeling like you skipped leg day. Uh, whatever way is going to work for you. And you can, you know, add as many details as you possibly want. You can actually give yourself, like, a shirt and pants and split that up. I'm wearing a tucked-in shirt with buttons and, you know, like, all that going on here. So I'm going that. And some of you might be saying here, like, how is this guy qualified to teach art? Well, this is, this is not exactly the most detailed, amazing drawing I've done. I, I really hope my regular drawings, uh, when I'm trying to show off, don't quite you know, get as simplistic as this. Right now, I'm really feeling like I'm a very Santa's elf uh, character going on. But this is totally fine. You guys are on the younger grade levels. I don't expect you to have amazing... In fact, if, if your guy just looks like the traditional stick figure, yourself, you know, your self-portrait is just this little dude here, you know, and then maybe like a detail like, oh, I have like long hair, so you had some long hair on there. That's really not a problem. That's actually okay. If that's what you draw for people, do it. Uh, whatever you can do. Okay, guys, so again, don't get caught up on that. Now, you're going to need some scissors, and I hope I mentioned that before in my supply list. If I didn't, you made it this far through the video. Yeah, okay, good. I'm saying scissors now. <laughs> and the reason is, what we are going to do here is we're going to cut you out of that paper. But what I want you to do when you cut, and I'll show you just with the pencil line, is I want you to cut with like a little bit of a border around. So you just, it's kind of like doing like a gingerbread man thing. Just leave a little kind of like bumps around where your arms and legs would be. And that's kind of like what I want you to do right there. Just cut that out like so. So, the next part. I'm going to skip over to a new sheet of paper because guess what? We're going to do something different. We're going to go and grab those coloring materials. And we are going to color. Uh, and all you really got to do for this is really simple. I don't care if it's, you know, uh, colored pencils or crayons or anything. Paint, whatever you want to use. Watercolor is awesome for this. Uh, acrylic is amazing. So you're going to pick out your colors. And what I just want you to do, oh, feel, f ooh, sorry, I kind of picked the wrong thing here, went black. Uh, just be free, okay? I want you to, to just draw colors everywhere, crazily, you know? Cover that piece of paper. Make it multicolored. The colors can go any which way you want them to. They could be at the top and the bottom and all over. You can use the full rainbow. You can use a few colors you like to, but just color that paper. If you can, if it's possible for that whole paper, I know sometimes it's like colored pencil a little harder, see if you can color everything in. You know, use bigger lines and smaller lines and, and just be crazy about it. Color it every which way. Have some fun, okay? And so we're going to call this project uh, My Colorful World because in the end what you are going to do is you're going to go back to that first drawing and you're going to take that cutout. So I'm actually going to, in this use the actual cutout ability of my amazing thing. Woo, made a little mistake right there. And I'm gonna cut my dude out. I'm gonna cut inside that line so I don't have a bit of pencil left over. Ooh, missed that one a little bit. Mistakes will be made. It is okay, guys. So there I am, I cut myself out. I, I did miss a couple spots there that, you know, I got some of the pencil, but that's totally okay. So all I gotta do from here is take that, whoops, take that bit that I got. Oh, no. Getting my battery's low signal here. Um, what I'm going to do, if I can back it up real quick, there we go, is I'm going to take what I got here. I'm, I cut it out, so what you're actually going to want to do is you're going to uh, end up, here, I'll, I'll, the best way I can do this, let me cut this out one more time, it's just easier. 
what you're going to end up doing is you're going to take your stuff, you're going to cut it out, and you're going to move your cutout piece of you, and you're going to glue it right on top of all that awesome drawing you did with the color, all that color. Um, and so if I can flip this over and say, yep, beautiful. And I'm going to erase all of my background here. So it's like I took my paper and I removed one paper and I put it on top of the other because what you're going to see is that really cool color one that I did. Well, put that back in. Whoops. Well, we did something funny right there. I'm not even sure what I did. Well, regardless, let me try this one more time. Why don't we do this? Instead of cutting out my, my character here, because for some reason I'm having trouble <laughs> layering these over each other, I'm just going to erase. Oh, what is going on? This is silly. Technology, guys. I think I got everything down, and then I make a silly mistake. Okay, so we got one over the top of the other. Let's put you in front of the other one. And then on this one, we're just going to pretend instead of, you know, doing the whole cutting out thing, I'm just going to erase the color in the background for mine. In yours, you're moving your white paper and you're gluing on top of, gluing it on top of your uh, colored stuff. And that's just going to make this really awesome, colorful background with you sitting on top like so. It's going to look similar to this, not exactly like it. Um, but that's going to be you. That's your awesome self-portrait that you're going to submit. Submit that via a photo and upload it to the Google Classroom. Kids in the class are going to be doing this, you know, in person. Um, and I will personally, if you happen to be an adult and you have access, and again, adults only for this, if you are an adult and you have access to a laminator, what I like to do with these projects is actually after they do the initial gluing down, I laminate the whole thing, and it makes it, you know, it, A, it adheres the top layer and laminates it to the bottom layer, which is exactly what a laminator does, but it also preserves everything, or it's a really nice, you know, gloss finish to it, and it just feels like for that very first project, you have something really substantial and finished, um, and it's a great one to hang up. This is, you know, it's quality refrigerator art right here. So, good first day, nice way to find out how kids are pu putting out the different pieces of the human body, uh, what basic shapes they're using, how they're combining them together. Uh, so this is just kind of an initial assessment and a, I think a fun thing to do. And we usually talk a little bit about ourselves and it's a fun way to do it. But like, hey, hey, instead of just telling me, draw it. And uh, I like that. So if you're finishing up this video, guys, awesome. Please uh, submit those works anytime this week. It'll be due by end of week. Um, it's a, a one lesson or one class uh, at a time. This is for the lower grade levels, obviously, and I will catch you guys next time for the next lesson. Thank you. Loved having you. Want to see that work. I'm very excited about that. Oh, and even more important than anything else I've said so far, put your name on your work. I don't care if you're doing it from home, you're in with me. If you're drawing on the top of a mountain, you put your name on it because we're artists and we're proud of the stuff that we do. And that's exactly what we're doing on here. Uh, always remember, you're okay to make mistakes. I'll see you guys next time. This is Mr. King signing off.